Hey guys, it's JVB. Happy Thursday. I'm here in the park. It is super windy and there's a beautiful rose bush right behind me, which smells so good. So obviously I'm out here with my dog, Bolt, who is uh, exploring. Um, I wanted to talk about self-love and I hope you can hear me and the wind is not completely messing up the sound. I had this conversation with a few people yesterday and you know we all beat ourselves up I beat myself up all the time for the things I didn't do for the things I could have done better for I should be already in a different place than I am all these things you know what I mean but what they do is they're just poison for our mind for our soul and for our body so instead of beating yourself up I want you to practice self-love and I know I have to do it too all the time because it's not always easy but if you don't love yourself, who will? You know what I mean? Everything, if we want love, we gotta love ourselves first and respect ourselves and accept ourselves for who we are. We are not perfect, I'm not perfect, you know, and perfection, what is perfection anyway? It's, if you are a perfectionist, you are actually an imperfectionist because all you ever do is look at imperfections versus perfection right because this is perfection it's not perfect some of them are like hanging down some of them are already like dead but it's still gorgeous it's it's part of nature it's part of the process so I think we all have to learn how to nurture our soul our inner child and really allow ourselves to sometimes mess up to make mistakes and to just be human because that's who we are right we all make mistakes and especially if you've already made it, there's no way back. So no matter how much you beat yourself up, no matter how many regrets you have, it doesn't change anything. What actually changes is probably your health, probably your, your state of mind, and you just, you're just gonna feel stressful, you're gonna get probably sick, so why not just, you know, see all the good instead? and focus on the good and have more fun in life. We all make mistakes. I mean, the greatest of the great make mistakes. Uh, it's just it's just human nature again, you know, it's, it's just very normal. But let's just practice self-love. Let's practice to look in the mirror and say, you know what, I love you. I love you just the way you are. I always feel that when I am a little bit too hard on myself, I just think of like, how would I talk to one of my best friends? Would I tell them, you suck, you're not good? Or would I say, you know what, it's all right, you're gonna be fine, you know? Treat yourself like you treat others that you really love and respect. Do the same for yourself and see how things can really turn around. And I surely believe in that because I do when, I, when I'm in that state and when I actually practice that, it makes me feel so much better. I always set these humongous goals that are so overwhelming that I just rather not do them anyway because they seem so overwhelming and not achievable at all. Versus just like, okay, one little thing a day can lead to more things. It creates momentum and then it creates productivity and it creates result. And even if my result today is just to feel good to feel happy to not be depressed to not put myself down so practice self-love let me know how you feel about this um, if you struggle with it I know I do we all do you know because we, we have this bad habit of comparing ourselves most of us to others all the time and we have to stop doing that it is good to look what other people are doing and be inspired by it but not to compare ourselves and feel less than anybody else because you are worth it, you're beautiful, and you are capable. Love you guys, have a great day, and I'll talk to you very soon.